As someone that is unbiased, and by unbiased, I mean not paid by these tennis racket companies, and someone that won't profit if you do buy this equipment that I'm reviewing, the Yonix V Core 98 2023 version is not exactly what you think it is. And let me tell you why. From a marketing perspective, the V-Core line sits between the power-oriented E-Zone line and the control-oriented V-Core Pro line. And it's sitting at 62 stiffness, 11.4 ounces strong, and 6 points head light. This seems to be a perfect fit for me and my aggressive one-handed backhand style of tennis rackets. And it was also perfect hitting that like, subscribe, and that notification bell for more original tennis content. Also, share this review for anyone looking to demo this V-Core 98. I want to hear their thoughts and it might help them with their decision just by watching this video. From the baseline, this racket was quick. It definitely felt like it was lighter than the 11.4 ounces that's listed. The power coming off this racket bed was damn near perfect and very predictable launch angle to boot. Also, this is one of the best tennis rackets for flattening shots, like approach shots, for both the one-handed backhand and the forehand, especially for an open string pattern racket, the 16 by 19, such as this. The defensive and aggressive slicers were damn good as well. Although I wish the defensive slicers didn't sit up nearly as high, but for some reason they did land very deep, which is a plus. Also, this racket felt very natural for those with one-handed backhands. Now, for the not so good things about this racket from the baseline. When really swinging out on this racket, it was extremely unstable and it felt like it was just made of super cheap material, which is a massive disappointment because Yonix is known to have high quality and expensive materials. I also have noticed that when the ball hits the tip of this racket, that the ball either lands super short, like on top of the net, or launches 60 feet past the baseline way into Narnia. It was extremely unpredictable and impossible to control when it hits at this part of the racket. And just like the previous Yonix V Core 98, I felt extremely disconnected from the ball due to its muted nature. Also, after about one hour of playing, I did feel some discomfort in my wrist. But it wasn't painful enough to stop playing tennis or require emergency surgery like the E-Zone 98 counterpart did. I will leave a link to that review in this corner if you guys haven't checked it out already. Overall, from the baseline, this was a massive disappointment from such a highly thought of tennis racket company. And also a tennis string company, they make good stuff. Move it up. Also, I wanted to thank GoSport. This tennis racket review would not be possible without them. GoSport recently released its Axiom duffel bag. It is a duffel style tennis bag that has multiple small compartments for phones, wallets, switchblade knives, and shot glasses and condoms. But what is most impressive about this is the large interior that can be divided to have compartments for rackets, water bottles, strings, string reels, and tennis clothes. Although this prototype that I helped test is turquoise, the one you can buy for a discount using the link down in the description below is sleek matte black. And yes, that link does help out this channel. Thanks.
At the net, this racket was quick through the air, just like at the baseline. Thankfully, there were no stability issues here. The touch shots were fantastic due to the maneuverability. However, I did feel like the volleys landed a bit too short for my liking. The balls bounced typically a foot or two shorter than expected. However, the change in direction and launch angle were predictable with this racket at the net. Unfortunately, the disconnected feeling was still felt at the net, just like at the baseline. This racket was, let's say, just different for serves. This is one of the best rackets I've played with in recent memory for flat serves. I felt like I was able to pop flat serves into corners precisely while feeling like I added five to 10 miles per hour. This is such a surprise because it's an open pattern string racket, just like the flatter strokes from the baseline. However, the spin serves were a different story. Although the spin was apparent for both slice and kick serves, I never felt like the ball kicked away from my opponent for the kick serves. Slices, however, I will give credit when credit is due, were fantastic. On top of that, the launch angle for kick serves were all over the place. Sometimes the kick serve landed two inches long, and other times the kick serves landed two inches under the net tape. Same stroke, same speed, but completely different results. This racket is extremely unreliable for kick serves based on my experience. With Yonix's marketing claiming that this is a masterpiece of technology and craft, and yes, those are their words on their English website, I will have to absolutely disagree. Although there's some really good positives about this racket, specifically the quickness and the great pace and control for flatter shots, the instability and cheap feeling material mutedness would say that this is overall a disappointing racket. Yes, it might appeal to some, and I would even argue you should demo this if it might appeal to your style of play. But as for my racket journey, I'll have to absolutely pass on this like immediately swipe left type of pass on Tinder, Hinge, Grinder, Bumble. Take your pick. Overall, I would have to give this racket only like a five out of 10 for my playstyle and my experience. If there are any Yonix employees watching right now, I would highly suggest taking my critique seriously because believe it or not, I'm still a big Yonix fan. You guys make pretty good stuff. Not perfect, but overall good high quality materials. But I am also a level headed critic as well. Now, I want to turn this to you. Have you tried this Yonix racket? If so, leave a comment down in the section below and let me know if I missed anything. Better yet, join my Discord to join the conversation where over 1,300 active tennis members are talking all things tennis. This racket review was strong at 50 pounds with the Yonix Polytour Pro 17G and was playtested for over six hours on court. As always, guys, uh, clicker. As always, guys, happy hitting.